WIC, put your hands together for 18-year-old magician Emma Wow, Olson. 18. 18 years old. Wow. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, it is such an honor to be here performing for you guys tonight. Penn, Teller, I have something very special to show you guys with the Rubik's Cube. Ooh. But it's going to be different than any other cube magic you've ever seen before. And you're about to see what I mean. Good. For I this, hope so. I would like a lovely assistant. And I was hoping, Penn, would you mind joining I, me on stage? I'd love to. Ooh, this is bold, bringing Penn up. I do love some good cube magic. Although Steven Brundage so did it the best, you, I swear. Now, Penn, I'm sure you're familiar with the Rubik's Cube. Yeah, a little bit. And the colors, too? Yeah. All right, so um, I'm going to go behind my back like this so I don't see the cube. And um, as I'm turning it, just say stop on whatever color you'd like. OK, sure. All right, whenever you would like. Stop. Right here? Yeah. Or do you want to keep going? No, that's good. This color? Yeah. You want to change your mind? No. Nope. All right, go ahead. Remember that color. Uh, this oh, one right here. OK, OK. This one? OK. You got that? I and got that. And the rest of the audience, do that as well? Yeah, do that as well, please. And he could have changed his mind. Keep that in mind. All right, Penn, now go ahead. Take the cube. Mm -hmm. Take it from my hand and mix it up. This legitimately seems like a so fair choice. No way I could know he could have changed his mind. Selected. Now, while you're doing that, I'll show you here. I've brought with me a little sketch pad. All right. And uh, in the sketch pad, I'm going to go ahead and start off by drawing the basic outline of the Rubik's Cube. All right. Now, Penn, you just focus on your color and mix up that cube. Uh, I keep mixing? Y yes. Continue I, to mix, please. I, I, I finish or I keep going while you're... Whatever you want. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm concentrating, though. That's the important part. All right. That's great. All right. So here I have the outline of the Rubik's Cube. All right. And um, here, I'll take the cue back. You're okay. done mixing it? Uh, yeah. Or did I interrupt you? No, you didn't. That's okay. fine. I'm done. Good, good. All right. Now, I'm going to give it a little mix, too. And uh, Penn, your only job for this is to remember the color that you selected. I know. I want to do that right. You know your color? Yeah. OK, good. Can you hold your hand out for me? I will do that. Yeah, and do the same with your other hand, too. OK, OK. All right, and hold the cube just like this. OK. All right, and hold that close to you. OK, close so to So I don't get near it. OK. All right, now here I have a bunch of different color markers. All right, each of these colors of the cube, one of these your color, Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I'm going to try to figure out which one is your color. Uh, just give me a countdown from three. Three, two, one. All right. You know, it would be impressive if she was able to draw she hates the cubes, <laughs> like the faces on the cube. Right. And like match it up just from looking at it. Two more. For like a few seconds. That would be impressive. I feel like that's where this might be going. Well, let's see. Now, Penn, for the first time out loud, can you go ahead and name the color that you selected? Yellow. Yellow? Yeah, yellow. Now, see, I got a little bit confused here, so I kind of just drew all the colors. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, but do you see your color on there? Actually, I don't. You don't? I don't, no. Oh, really? No. Mm. Um, but here, your color yellow, I want you to imagine your color yellow on the bottom of the cube. I'm doing that. Let me know when that's happened for you. It's done. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the cube turned yellow at the bottom. Hey, I've seen a similar trick like that, though, with a sketch pad. I've seen something similar before, not with the Rebus cube. Oh, wait, the magic isn't finished yet. You're still holding on to the cube in your hand. Can you go ahead and lift your top hand? Uh -huh. Do you see your color on top? No. You don't see it on top? I don't. Do you see it on this side of the cube? I don't. Or how about this side? Nope. Or this side? Nope. Not even this side? Nope. Can you go ahead and lift up the cube? Oh, on the bottom. Just like she drew it up on the sketch pad. It's on the bottom. Look, I want to give this to you as a little souvenir. You and Teller can go ahead and check that Ooh. out. Okay. You know, Thank if, you if so she had matched the top yeah. to her drawing, that would have been, that would have taken it to a whole nother level. Emma right, we saw the bottom matched yellow, but the top that she drew, that matched to one of the faces. You said that this was going to be the biggest performance of your career. How did it go? 
Um, well, I was very nervous, but I'm glad that I got everything right and the trick went smoothly. That's got to feel good. <laughs> Great performance. Do you find that people underestimate you? Um, unfortunately, yeah. Like, with my age and being, like, a female magician, I feel like people, you know, kind of have an expectation for, you know, what a normal magician is supposed to look like. I don't fit that. But I let the magic speak for itself. So, yeah. Nice. And Very confidence. nicely done. I love it. I love it. Do you, do you ever use magic in school to get yourself out of trouble? Yes, all the time. Um, especially for, like, class presentations. And it does get a better grade, so it's good. Sounds like a good deal. All right, Emma. Let's see if you're going back to the Big Apple with a big trophy. Are you okay, ready? Okay, let's see. All right, Mr. P&T. Hey, Emma. Uh, you're a genius. It's that simple. You're just a genius. Um, the performance, the poise, the way you handled yourself, just terrific. The way you handled me and had me actually do things without me screwing it up, which is the danger of this trick, is that I can screw it up, and I didn't do that, and that's all thanks to you. Getting to uh, the secret of this, much of this stuff you just did. And if Teller and I worked on this the rest of our lives, which isn't that long, um, <laughs> we, we would never, ever be able to learn that. The stuff you were keeping in your head was just phenomenal. We were just blown away by every moment of it. And even the parts that weren't just genius, but actually magic tricks, if you'd hooked up an EKG to us, you would have gotten a cardiographic thing that would have just blown your mind. We would have had to call our cardiologist, who's Dr. Yes. Martin Lewis, who you probably Martin heard Lewis. Of, is in town. Yes. He, he they just, got it. He would, he would have to fix our hearts. We were so blown away by your genius, Emma. You're yep. just wonderful. And I think we That's the magic word. Cardiography and Martin Lewis. A couple of things here that might let you know that you did not fool us, but look how the audience loved you. Huh? Amazing performance, though. great job, good job. Emma, we're so impressed, but it sounds like you didn't fool the boys. Did that code make sense to you? It made perfect sense to me, yes. Thank you so much for being here with us. You Thank were amazing, you I'm so impressed.